Hello, Mount Moriah. As Pastor Kerry encouraged us to wear red and to decorate our vehicles for the drive-in service on that day. A little background on Pentecost. Forty days after Easter, Jesus ascended into heaven and the disciples were feeling a bit lost and lonely. Ten days later, fifty days after the resurrection, or Pente, the Holy Spirit descended to the disciples and the people on earth. It rested on every individual and the scriptures tell us that it looked like tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them on their heads. They also began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. We propose that you wave spirit sticks on Pentecost. Whether you are worshiping from your car at the drive-in service or at home watching online, you are to wave the sticks every time the word spirit is mentioned. Due to the COVID-19 protocol, I cannot make sticks for you to wave. So I am encouraging you to make them at home with things you have around your house. For the first kind of sticks, you need to gather some simple things. Ribbons, reds, golds, oranges, anything that makes you think of fire. Also grab a pencil. I have some pencils that have not been sharpened, so that is perfect. Measure and cut your ribbons anywhere from two feet to two yards. It seems to work well not to have any more than about six ribbons. Bunch them together and tie a knot in the middle. Place your pencil in between the ribbons on the knot and make another knot. Hold your pencil and wave it in the air and imagine the, the spirit descending upon you as the ribbons flow. The next kind of sticks are a little more involved. You will need a disposable tablecloth. I picked mine up at the dollar store. You will also need a short dowel or a small piece of plastic pipe. After laying it out into a long length across your table, you will cut slicks, slits part way through one long side about every one half to one inch. Take your dowel or your pipe and roll it along the uncut edge. Roll it tight or it tends to come apart once you're shaking it. To fasten this down, you're going to use either a rubber band or a piece of wide tape. You can use duct tape or masking tape or packing tape. I chose to use a rubber band and I put my rubber band on my dowel stick before I even started to roll it. Okay, so I've got it wound around my stick. And now I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm going to put it up over the tablecloth. Shake your stick and enjoy. Now you may already have something in your house to use as a spirit stick. I found these. pom-poms at the dollar store. They're so much fun. I also had these pom-poms in a drawer. The Ohio State pom-poms, of course. You could use those as well. And then I've got, here is a pom-pom, a spirit stick I made using a dowel or a um, plastic PVC pipe. So however you choose to make your sticks, remember how the Spirit descends upon each of us and celebrate.